Hey everyone, it is Shannon and welcome to week two of my September reading vlogs or day six or well we're starting today with day six. Um, I started a bit early and my weeks are a bit strange but generally I think they are going to run Friday to Thursday and then I will share my reading vlog on the following Friday. So that is the plan um, for my reading vlogs in September. I've already done the first week, which is a lot of fun and a lot of work. Wow, I haven't done blogging like that for quite some time, and I forgot at how uh, time consuming it is and how there are certain habits to cultivate around that um, and challenges around it. Um, like, for example, I know one thing, I did a lot of holding the camera uh, in that first week, and I'm going to try and also have times where the camera is static so it's a little less jarry. Um, and I did also vlog on the go while I was out and the audio for that wasn't great so I will try and figure out a way to make that better. It's hard because I want to have variety of like locations but you know when you're walking outside you never know how noisy things are around you and they always sound the camera picks up way more than I hear in the moment because you filter it out because you're used to it anyway so um yeah so I hope if you watched the first week of vlogging that you enjoyed it and thank you for coming back for week two or thank you for joining in on week two both are totally welcome um so anyway I decided to do vlogging this month because I have a quite a structured slash project oriented TBR for the month I am focusing very strongly on my stacking the series uh, books in September and I am going to try and finish off three series this month as well as read one additional book. Um, so I yeah so that is the primary focus. Um, I am currently at 48 of 78 titles read so I have 30 more to go. I'm not going to read them all this month. I was hoping to my goal is nine books and I've read one so far and um, then I do also want to make three decisions. There's three series that I'm not sure how I feel about them. I did do some work on that. Unfortunately, talking about that was some of my outside vlogs, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll come back to that in this one and share a little bit on how that's going. Um, but for now, I think I will share with you my TBR chart um, so we can see where things are at and then see where things will go. Let's see what the plans are. Yeah, the plans. But first, the chart. So here we go. Here is my September TBR chart. I have at this top section my stacking the series books. So I have nine that I want to read. Three How to Train Your Dragon, four from The Giver, one very short introduction, which is Shakespeare, and one uh, the Maybon book, which is the Llewellyn's Essential Sabbaths Guide. And then here are the three series I want to decide what to do about. Boston Fire by Shannon Stacy. Women of the Other World by Kelly Armstrong and the Numa Files. I've started to do some work on the top two series, um, and but we'll continue on with that. Um, I have additional titles on my TBR. I am working. I want to read a lot of the first adventure. Anita Reads is doing a read along for this. I also want to read the Greek Miss um, and the Ship Who Sang uh, for Sci-Fi. Space Opera September. And then here are my library books. I have five Blade of the Immortal titles. I want to read Aquacorn Cove, uh, Piano Lessons or Murder, which is a Goosebumps title, and I have four volumes of Saga. So as you can see, I have some X's already. X, X, X. So I read one How to Train Your Dragon book, and I have started the first Giver title. There's no indication for starting, just for finishing. Um, so yeah, one How to Train Your Dragon book, and two Blade of the Immortals. So after five days, or the first week, that's <laughs> doesn't feel like a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, I think the plan for this week is I definitely want to finish The Giver, the first in The Giver Quartet, the second How to Train Your... the second... the eleventh How to Train Your Dragon book. Continue on Maybon and Shakespeare. I have started both of them. And then I think... I'm not sure... I'll talk about the stacking that these three series in a second um, separately. And then for here, I think what I'm probably going to do is start the Greek myths um, because that's the one I'm picking. I do want to read Alana, but I think I want to finish at least one of these two series first. So, um, and I think Anita, she mentioned doing a live show um, and it sounded like it would be at the end of this month or early next month. So I think I want to read it closer to then. Um, so, but I'll keep my ear to the ground 
on that. Um, and then in terms of my library books, I think I need to read Saga 6 because it's going to expire like tomorrow. And then like whatever I read is fine. Like I'm just, just keep reading stuff. It's sort of like my in-betweeners and they're mostly easier re reads. A lot of graphic novels and one kid's book. Um, so yeah, so that is where things stand as we start. Welcome to day seven, and um, I'm sorry, I didn't come back and do any clips yesterday because um, I ended up uh, going out with my sisters, and that was really awesome, and then I ended up reading, but I ended up reading really late, so I also ended up watching a movie really late, so um, yeah, so I did do some reading, but uh, no clips yesterday, but let's see, look, take a look and see what I read started the next section of the uh, very short introduction to Shakespeare and I read like six pages. <laughs> Usually I read eight so a little less yesterday but anyway I'm hoping to finish the section today or tomorrow. I started the next volume of Blade of the Immortal. I'm on volume 19 um, and only read a little bit um, but this is a thinner one so I should finish that soon. Then I also started uh, one of my books to read this month is the uh, Tales of the Greek Heroes by Roger Lancelot Green. Lancelot Green. Um, and I just read the first section. I think there's 15 or 19 tales. Um, and I started reading the introduction, which is done by Stephen Fry. And then I stopped because I forget. No, I read the introductions afterwards. So, but there was some, I, there was some stuff in it that was like, whoa, I'm just a little surprised to hear those words in an in introduction. I don't know. Anyway, so I have to remember to read the introduction afterwards. Uh, enjoying it so far. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's a little different than I expected. Um, and then I'm going to turn the camera so I can show this because I can't do that one handed. So we'll be back in one moment. So here is the chart as we start day seven. And I am going to mark off Saga volume six. So first finish of the week. So The Giver by Lois Lowry, if you're unfamiliar, um, I, I'm not going to do spoilers here, but um, the if you it's a utopic, dystopic story following a character named Jonas, who is uh, 11, I think he's 11 turning 12. They don't say that. Yeah, no, they say that. So he's 11 turning 12, and he lives in a world that's very ordered. Um, you know, people do certain things at certain ages and there's a certain process for getting a job and being part of a community and how family, even how families are created. It's all organized by, um, oh, I don't remember what they call it. It's not the committee. Maybe it is the committee and there's also elders. Um, so, but everything is very ordered and you know what to expect in all of these things. And because it's a utopic slash dystopic, things start to change and, you know, things start to become uncomfortable um, because of change because he has learned that things are supposed to be a certain way and then things start to change. I really love this story and there are definitely challenges with it and there's definitely things that you know that are problematic but they're problematic intentionally like it's 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 pointing out that this kind of thing is not okay like that's that's part of it but it doesn't in a very a much more gentle way than other uh, stories. It's a very, in some ways, the community is very, at least when Jonas is, is growing up um, or in the stages where he is when the story starts, it's very, uh, uh, what is the word? I wonder, I'm, my, my brain's thinking patient, but that's not it. It's um, not ignorant, naive. Let's go with naive. 
So um, like they just don't think outside of the structure of the norms and the community and the established thing. So anyway, I really like it. I really like him as a character. Um, and there, there is, I don't know, there's something I like utopics in, like I, I, I mentioned this in my last vlog that for me, I like order. I like structure. I like um, you know, organize things, but I'm not like, you know, these kinds of stories, you know, it's going to go wrong because there is always, um, you know, uh, the, the, how they make that go is through conformity. And so people aren't allowed to be different and aren't even taught to think differently or understand even what freedom is, um, or freedom of thought is. So of course, it's, you know, it's, it's so big, it's going to go bad places, but, um, but I really enjoy this story and I'm, I'm hoping to finish it today. Um, I, I mentioned I'm about halfway through, but, um, I have a very relaxed day. I'm doing laundry, you know, um, and I have full pot of coffee and, uh, went out and picked up cream. And so, I, you know, I don't really, like, the day is wide open, and I plan to do a fair amount of reading. I don't know what I plan on reading other than that. Um, I'm alternating between the Giver books and the How to Train Your Dragon books, so I should tab off. I have the next tab, How to Train Your Dragon books, so I should, I should take the tabs from the one that I finished for all the chapters and tab off the next one, because if I finish the Giver tonight, I will start this tomorrow. So yeah, so that's how things are going. Also, I really enjoyed Saga 6. I just glazed over that. All of the sagas have been great. I think the second one was my favorite. This one was really good as well. I have 7, 8, 9 out from the library, so I will be reading them over the next less than three weeks, because that's how long you get library holds for. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, today is going to be a big day of reading, um, and uh, I'll probably watch a movie. Um, but you know, it's going to be a relaxed day, laundry, coffee, books. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So that is the update for the beginning of day six, seven. So we're on, we're on day seven. I also plan on start starting Dime Store Magic today by Kelly Armstrong. Um, yeah, so I just, I just realized it has a prologue. So I have to decide if I want to read the prologue. I don't always, we shall see. So I've updated my daily reading tracking in my tracker. So I haven't, what did I finish? I finished Saga. Yes, I finished Saga. So that's how things stand as of the end of day six. Um, and yeah, those are the pages I read. Yesterday was a little light comparatively, um, but I finished the title every day for the past five days. So that's pretty good. So hopefully I will finish something today as well. So I have read a whole bunch of The Giver and I am going to take a break because although I could push through and finish it, um, I'm at about 80% with four chapters left. Um, it's an emotional read, so I actually need a break. <laughs> I need a break from it because, um, you know, it's dealing, it does deal with heavy themes. It deals with them in a very simple and clear way, but the themes aren't easy. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to take a break from that, do some other stuff. I also read a bit of the Maybon book. Um, I finished the Old Ways section, and I want to finish the New Ways section this weekend, I think. Um, it, uh, because then I'll have like four more sections and I do want to finish it not by the end of the month, but by the holiday, which is the 23rd. Um, so yeah, that's, it's kind of weird. They have, um, similar, and they're kind of uh, the places I'm at. The two books have similar themes in terms of, um, you know, some challenging stuff, um, in a weird way. So that's a bit weird. So anyway, um, yeah, that's the update for now. I read, uh, a good amount of the giver, some of the Maybon book. I'm going to switch gears for a bit, but I do want to read some more. I will be able to finish. Actually, you know, one of the good things is I know I will be able to finish the giver today. So that's good. I feel like I'm in a good spot for that. So I'm going to switch gears and finish off my laundry and, you know, have some lunch and that kind of fun stuff. So we shall see where the day takes me. I don't know. Okay, so it is, yes, now day eight, and um, so we're a full week 
you know, we're in the second week of the vlogs, but we're a full week into the month now. Um, and it's Sunday. Um, normally I would do my reading planning today. I didn't do it last time because I'm doing my reading differently, but I think what I'll do is I will take a look at my whole month's TBR, where I'm at, how I'm looking, and if I need to make any adjustments. I think that's a fair way to do a reading plan. Um, and uh, yeah, and I didn't finish The Giver yesterday, which I'm surprised at. I ended up watching a lot of movies, which was awesome, <laughs> which was a lot of fun, but it wasn't getting a lot of reading done. Um, but I did read some of The Giver. I can read it. I can finish it the next time I sit down to read it. I can also... Um, I think if I do that in, during the day, then at night I can start How to Train Your Dragon, which will keep me on pace with starting that book the day I wanted to start it. And I'm alternating back and forth the two series. So I think that should be okay. Um, I did read the next section on the Greek heroes, uh, and it was about Apollo and Hermes and a little bit about Prometheus, which is interesting because it's, uh, the story of Prometheus came up in a show that I watched recently, so interesting timing there. Um, I read some of the Mabon book, um, and, but not as much as I expected. So yeah, I guess the plan for today is to uh, sketch out a reading plan and um, finish The Giver, start How to Train Your Dragon, and then do whatever my reading plan tells me to. <laughs> so yeah, because yesterday, yesterday I watched movies. I did do some reading. But I mostly watch movies, which was really nice. It's been a while since I've had a day of like lots of movie watching, so that was fun too. So yeah, so we'll see uh, where today takes me. As I was watching movies yesterday, I did work on my sweater, and you can see that there is, see how there's nothing here, but there's something here. So that means I actually did work on my sleeve, and I got, I don't know, I did, I had 10 rows done already of straight knitting, and you're supposed to decrease at that point, but I felt like I still wanted the arm as big as it was, so I did a couple, two more inches, I think, and now I'm decreasing. And so I'm a little concerned that it might not be, you know, um, that it might be too big. It's hard to see scale and it's all black, but, um, yeah, but I decided to just decrease on every third row instead of every fourth row. Um, and hopefully that will get it decreasing faster. Well, it will get it decreasing faster, but hopefully that'll get it to a width at the length that I'm going for. I'm going to do that for, I don't know, maybe another three inches. Cause that'll probably go to my elbow and see how it feels there. Cause it is a sweater. So you want to be able to wear something underneath it. If I me final shirt, of course. Um, and, uh, yeah, so fingers crossed, it would be really sucky to have to rip it back. Um, so I'm hoping that I can just figure out the math as I go and maybe it'll just be a bit wide around the sort of bicep. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I try and trust my intuition with knitting and sometimes that works. Sometimes that doesn't. And I haven't been knitting tons, but I really felt like I didn't want to decrease it, so I didn't. So we'll see how it goes. But I can I can wear it, you know. It's not it's big, but it's not huge. It's hard when it's only yeah. This is one of the first ones that I have done where you can try it on as you go, and I actually have felt that that doesn't help me. It actually does not help me unless it was too small and I couldn't fit it around my body. That would be helpful. But when it's the right, I can't tell whether it's the right size or it's too big. So I maybe it's just better to trust measurements no idea. That's what I've done in the past. So this is a learning experience. And um, yeah, so I think as the week goes on, maybe I could get the sleeve done this week. Maybe I could do that. That would be awesome. Let's try for that. Let's try for that. I'm going to try and finish the sleeve this week. We'll see.
okay, it is now several hours later, and I have done my reading plan, so I know what I'm reading this week, and I've also finished The Giver. Um, I could have come back half, right after I finished it, because, like, that book just gets me. It really does. This is my, my third time reading it, and it hit me just as much as the first two times, although this time I could see some things that people may not like about it um because i did have a look through goodreads and i noticed some people didn't enjoy it which makes sense like no one likes everything um but i was a little surprised so i was a little i had my critical hap cap on just a little bit so there were a couple things i'm like okay maybe this maybe that um but uh, for me i still loved it it was still a five out of five a ten out of ten i loved it from start to finish you know, I just, I just loved it. So, um, and it got me emotional, so, <laughs> which not a lot of books do, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not, that's not what I go to for books. I know some people that is what they are going for, but that's not what I'm going for. So anyway, I'm happy I finished it. Um, it makes me feel like I can get on to my next stacking series book, which is the next How to Train Your Dragon series. And I looked at the calendar and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and read the How to Train Your Rag Dragon books Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And the books from the Giver Quartet, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and if I finish it on Sunday morning, I feel like that's still enough time for me to start the How to Train Your Dragon book at night. So I think that that will be a good pace. And that will get me finished um, those. I have I've finished two out of the seven for those um, that I picked this month. And so I should finish it, I think, around the 29th. And it gives me a three-day window where I'm not reading a How to Train Your Dragon book when I can start Alana, the first adventure. Um, I would rather read that near the end of the month because if uh, that's being, that's a read along that Anita from Anita Reads is doing. And um, I would like to read it closer to when, if she's doing a live show, which I haven't heard about. She mentioned it, I think in the comments or something. So I want to, I like to have it more fresh in my own mind, but because I haven't read that series yet, I don't want to leave it too close to the end of the month in case it does take me longer than I expected. So I'll have about a week and a half, which I think should be fine. Um, some other stuff I plan on reading this week. Not necessarily this vlog, because this vlog will go till Thursday. Um, I want to finish at least one Blade of the Immortal. I'm going to try and work on the Tales of the Greek Heroes. Read one or two a day. There's 19 total. Um, I would like to finish it mid-month, because I want to read the ship who sang um for space opera september it's all the way over here the ship who sang and i think although they have nothing to do with each other this is a classic science fiction ish novel and this is you know greek mythology they take about the same reading energy like these are are even though often stories like this are like children's stories they're still you know it's the text is a little dry so my plan is to finish this in the first half of the month and then for the second half of the month i will switch over to the ship who sang so and also this week i'm going to continue reading saga i'll probably just go ahead and read all the ones i have out from the library 789 um because i have them and i have the like I think nine I have for the least period of time. So I might as well just read them, enjoy them, return them, and other people can enjoy them too. So that's the reading plan. Oh, and then I'm going to continue. I did start Dime Store Magic. I'm not going to talk about it because I'm doing a bit of an experiment for that one because I feel like I mentioned this, I think, in a separate clip. But I feel like um, part of my challenge with that series is my... <sighs> I, it's, it didn't feel like the, it didn't match the expectation I had for it. So what I'm going to try and do is just read it, just read it and see how I feel and not comment on it. I can think about it, of course, or journal about it, but I'm not going to share how I feel about it quite just yet because I need to process it and just have my own experience of it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for that. I read the first, the prologue and the first two chapters yesterday. So I'm going to try and continue to read that this week and maybe decide about the series this week. Um, yeah, and then for my nonfiction, I think I'm going to focus on the Maybon book this week to try and finish that off, and then next week I will get back to the Bard um, Shakespeare uh, and uh, read that. So that's my reading plan that I came up with today. So now I have to get to reading. I did finish The Giver, so I have already gotten some reading in, but I would like to finish at least one chapter of Maybon, maybe read the Greek tragedies a little bit, um, and then I will be starting the How to Train Your Dragon, number 11. Number 11. That says C. I thought it would say 11. 11. There it is. 11. So yeah, so that'll be the focus read for the next couple of days on top of everything else. On top of everything else. <laughs> 
as I was updating Goodreads today, I noticed something about The Giver. Well, one, because I've read it before, um, it has all of the shelves and stuff lined out, so I just have to put the dates, which is really nice. And I reviewed it at one of the other times, so I don't even have to feel that, oh, I should review it moment, because... I've already done that. But one of the super exciting things I didn't realize is I actually tagged this as all-time favorite. All-time favorite. So apparently The Giver is one of my all-time favorites. And I would say so, actually, now, after reading it again, I, I really, really, really loved it. So I think that is true. I think that is true. So that's exciting. Um, um, and just, you know, you know, nice to not have to review something. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, it's early. It's early. I will do my official check-in, like, after I've had coffee, but that was the pre-coffee <laughs> Shannon thoughts. So many pages yesterday. I am just going to go right to the calculator. I normally do the math as I go or in my head, but at this... Wow, is it really? Is it really 470? I'm going to do that again, just in case. That's a lot of pages. That'll definitely be my highest page count for the day. Yeah, 470. Woo! Wow! And there's my review of The Giver, if you are interested. Update time. So, finished The Giver. And I also finished Blade of the Immortal 19. So, there we are. I've added in yesterday's reading, and things are going well, and clearly had the best day of the month so far, far exceeding past even the stars. Um, so yeah, 470 pages. A lot of that was How to Train Your Dragon and Blade of the Immortal, but there's still a fair amount of just regular um, you know, novel reading, and I had three finishes. Uh, the Giver, Blade of the Immortal 19, and uh, a romance novel I actually read. Where was it? The Accidental Seduction by Michelle Willingham. Um, it's a sort of a 0 0.5er, 50-page uh, novella for the Accidental series, um, which I just randomly started reading because I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so that is sort of how day eight went. Um, so now we're into, which was obviously, I got lots of reading done. I got lots of reading done. Um, started the next How to Train Your Dragon book. Not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, I was, I lost track a little bit in the, in the middle of the section that I read, which I'm really surprised at given it's a kid's book. It just sort of it was a different tempo than I expected. And had some new elements and I was like, oh, that's different and the timing was different and so I was like, what? <laughs> so it took me a little while to get into it, but I did read a third, which is great, and I'll work towards that today. Um, these The books are getting larger. This one isn't because it's, I think the line spacing is shorter. It's a naked hardcover and the line spacing is smaller. But I think even though there are more pages in as the series progresses, they're also, whenever I add my hand in, the screen whites out. <laughs> Um, I guess all the no hand gestures, no hand gestures, I was going to wave my finger. No, can't do that. Anyway, um, but as the series goes on, even though the books are getting larger, I do feel like they have more and more illustrations, uh, which means it's less text, you know, um, but there's more things to look at. So it's not necessarily going to take super much more time. But um, so I don't, but I don't know. And I actually, I do read about a third of it a day but I pair it off in between two different reading times, which has been working. Um, I think if I left it all till the very end of the day, it would feel a bit overwhelming. So I'm reading some in the sort of, you know, early evening and then the rest later at night. And that's been working. So I'm happy with that. I'm curious to see where it's going to go. Uh, of course, lots of adventure, uh, peril, dragons, friendship, you know, uh, a quest ish it's not, is, is it a quest I, I guess it's a quest it's sort of it's it's a bit more um tangible than a quest like it's a bit more practical 
than a quest, I think. I don't know if that's true. Are quests practical? Question, thoughts, let me know. Um, anyway, so yeah, I read that and then I read The Accidental Seduction by Michelle Willingham. That's actually a reread for me. It's a novella, the first in the Accidental series. And this, the first book, the, the next book, because this is like a point fiver, the next book actually features the same couple, which I'm surprised at. Um, that's pretty rare in romance uh, stories. Um, but a lot of the reviews of the the, the next book uh, talk about not knowing that there was a novella. So I'm curious to see what it'll be like because I haven't, um, I just, I out of this series, I've only read um, this, the one I already read, which was a reread. Um, so I'll be curious to see what it's like to read more about the couple. I didn't super love the couple, but one of the reasons why I'm reading it is I love Michelle Willingham as an author. I really enjoyed a lot of her work. Um, and, um, she does all historical romance, but she does stuff at different periods. And this is a Regency one. And there's several, and I want to read everything she's written. And there's several series that are Regency. Um, and Regency is not my favorite. So, I thought I would read a Regency now because after that, then I can read one of the other ones that's, uh, I think it's medieval. Um, and uh, cause she does Viking ones and uh, Irish uh, historical and Scottish historical, which are all I think medieval or more medievalish. And then I'll pair between those and the Regency, but I am down to only having one non-Regency. So I thought, oh, I should probably read a Regency if I am planning on reading all of them, which I am. So decided to go with that one. I got the next one out of the library. Um, and so we'll see how that goes. It should not, I, you know, I'm, I'm reading it after I'm done all of like my TBR books, so I'm not going to let it interfere, but it is another goal that I have. So yeah, I think for today, I don't like, I'm going to read more How to Train Your Dragon. I'm going to read another of the Greek myths. I read two yesterday. One was about Zeus, oh, Zeus and someone coming down to, you know, test out humanity. Are they good or are they bad? And going to their houses and seeing how they treat them if they dress as, you know, um, humans and, you know, just seeing the hospitality of that. Um, and there was that one and I read another one about, um, that started to introduce the character of Pandora, which gets a little problematic. <laughs> so, because everything's our fault, right? <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, so in, in the language of the, like this, I have a new edition of this uh, book of the Greek heroes, but it is an older work. I forget the year, but it is older. So a lot of the stuff when they say, they say man, they mean humans. They don't just mean males. Um, although they did just create women. Women were just created. So maybe it was what they meant into that, but I think they meant humankind as opposed to mankind. So, yeah, I forget stuff like that. You know, I'm like, it's not, it doesn't feel very inclusive to read about myths and they're talking about men this and he that when they're talking generally. So anyway, maybe, maybe someone will do an updated version of uh, mythology that is more inclusive. Um, I would totally buy that. I would totally buy that. Um, so yeah, so I'm continuing on that. I'll read one, at least one or two of those, a third of the How to Train New Dragon. And other than that, I'm not quite sure. Um, I did start reading Saga Volume 7, so I'll probably keep reading that. But I am feeling a bit down today, so I am going to make sure that I do some stuff that I enjoy doing. Not that I don't enjoy reading. Of course I enjoy reading. But I think I want to get some to do some art stuff and to look at the fall TV schedules because that's something uh, that uh, I always enjoy looking. And I looked up the American schedules, um, but I want to look up the Canadian schedules because sometimes they air stuff at the same time. Sometimes they don't air stuff at the same time. And because um, I watch via antenna. So when things are on live is how I create or decide what I'm going to watch. So it's always really frustrating if two of the shows that I like are on at the same time. And I have a couple of shows that are going into their final seasons of like seven or 15 seasons. So like nothing is really going, it doesn't matter how good what, el what else is on at that time, I'm going to be watching Arrow and Supernatural. <laughs> like it's just like, you know, it's not no contest. So anyway, so maybe some TV planning um, and research as well as doing some art. I haven't been doing much art 
And um, I think when I don't do that, I get a bit grumpy. So I think I'm going to work on that today. So I don't know how many clips I'm going to do today. I will try and have some stuff, of course, as always. Uh, but it might be a little lighter today. We shall see. Because I am grumpy. Um, although it probably doesn't appear so. But I am feeling a bit grumpy. And, you know, when that's the case, you know, I'd rather not talk, you know, like I'm not, like I'd rather have the clips be more uplifting. Um, although I'm already feeling a little bit, a little bit better just talking. So maybe that helps. So we shall see. No guarantees. Um, but, uh, we'll get reading done, hopefully get some art done and some, maybe some TV research. Maybe that will cheer me up. We shall see. Just noticed that Anita put up her Monday Reads video. So I'm definitely going to watch that because, um, I always enjoy watching her videos and I'm sure that will cheer me up. I am. Uh, well, and I can guys for the fact that I haven't posted a Monday read in a couple of weeks now um, because of uh, one thing I was very busy and secondly I had a, week, a couple of weeks I haven't planned anything in terms of my reading I just went whatever I felt like. 9th 2019 so I am a day late <laughs> yesterday except that I was on vacation. Yeah so I actually really really like this film I would definitely watch it again uh, the big boss is one I just don't feel I, I would gravitate towards again the nunchucks I mean the nunchucks are kind of this another piece of the, of the iconography of Bruce Lee and he uses them in Welcome to day 10 of this reading vlog and um, or of the second reading vlog for September. Um, and I, I gotta say, I did not have the best reading day yesterday. Um, I had some grumpies, which I mentioned. So I did some other stuff. I watched a fair amount of YouTube and I watched a movie. Um, and um, I didn't get to any art, which I'm sad at, but I'm trying to make art a habit and put it, I finally chose my habit tracker things to track yesterday. So that was very good because, you know, it's, you know, 10 days into the month. So, and I did about half of them yesterday. So that's not too bad. I know it's probably better to pick one and just work on that, but, um, but I have more than one habit I want to work on. So anyway, and I'm happy about some of the ones that I picked. So yeah, so yeah, it was grumpy. So didn't get to reading till very, very late, which means I did not read as much of How to Train Your Dragon as I wanted to. I'm on page 210, and it has been 370 pages, and I want to finish it today. So that's 160 pages, so that's a lot. So I am going to try and do what I said I would do yesterday, which is read a little bit, like read some of it in the early evening and some of it in the late evening. I didn't do that yesterday. I didn't. I just I just wasn't, wasn't feeling like reading. Um, Like, I just wasn't feeling like adhering. I guess because I ad adhered to my habits. And reading is not actually, I don't put it on my habit tracker because... In all honesty, I pretty much read every day. So it's actually other things I need to work on doing other than reading. So hence, I guess that happened and they didn't read. So anyway, I think it's still possible to finish this today. Possible, maybe. A little optimistic. We shall see how the day goes. Um, I also wanted to make one correction. Yesterday I talked about uh, Michelle Willingham's Accidental series. Uh, I read The Accidental Seduction and I'm going to go on to read The Accidental Countess. Um, but apparently it's actually Victorian, uh, not Regency. So um, yeah, I don't know what the time period is between the two. I know Victorian is like, you know, I, I, what is it? Is it 1850 to 90? I think, and I think Regency might be later. I'm not sure. I, have, I, I either have a chart or want a, a chart, if you know a good resource for a chart. I know I could just Google it, but it's just, it's one of those things, especially for, not just for knowing the different periods of romance novels, but like, I just want to know. I know mostly from fashion, to be honest, because I studied fashion and fashion history went through the different periods. So I know what the gowns look like or what women were wearing because that's what I studied. So when someone says Victorian versus Regency, actually, I don't remember when Regency is, but Victorian is corsets and, you know, much more severe and very proper. Um, you know, uh, so yeah. So which didn't feel like they mentioned corsets actually in the novella anyway. So but the introduction to the second book talks about how it is Victorian. So I know for sure it's Victorian. So I updated my spreadsheet. So I thought I would update you. Um, I feel like there are such a huge number of Regency romances. And, um, but I'm not sure when it is. I don't tend to love them. 
I think I, I read Shades of Milk and Honey, and that was, that was okay. Um, it had very, it had some magical realism in it, um, which I don't think is often used in Regency. I don't know what it is about Regency that people love. There's just so many of them, which is fine. Everyone's allowed to like what they like. Um, and then I also did read a, uh, another Greek myth on Typhoon, Typhirius, Ty, Ty someone. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the really super bright book. Um, next up is Dionysus, which I'm really looking forward to. But this time... Typhon. Typhon the Terrible. The Lear's voice is a lovely everywhere in the courts of the gods in the city of men, and in the lonely rock-strewn mountain glen in the still mountain air. Only to Typhoon it sounds hatefully, to Typhoon only, the rebels overthrow, through whose heart Etna drives her roots of stone to imbue them in the sea. Wow, and I cannot pronounce that. M. Empedocles on Etna by Matthew Arnold. Hmm. So Typhoon the Terrible. Typhon the Terrible. Wow, don't know. Yeah, I read the one on Typhon the Terrible. I don't remember it that much, to be honest. Um, wasn't a character I super resonated with. There was lots of hate, you know, about him and anger with him and people didn't like him. So not a favorite. So looking forward to Dionysus. <laughs> So on the deck today, finishing How to Train Your Dragon, for sure. Working on my sweater, I have started doing the decreases. I did figure out what I was doing wrong with Magic Loop. I don't remember if I mentioned that. Um, I was doing the sleeves and it was just like, I'm just like, this doesn't feel right, this whole Magic Loop thing. And I'm like, I, I don't use it very often. So I watched a tutorial and I was like, oh yeah, no, I was not redoing it right. And it's so much easier once you have it right. So yeah, so that's going very tickety-boo, um, hopefully... I should get the sleeve done this week, um, and yeah, so reading, I'm doing some videos, I should have waited till I did videos to do my update, and then I would have had, like, regular makeup on. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back and do an update, <laughs> just because, just because, I don't know, anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what today is, I'm still pretty tired, and, um, but we shall see where the day takes us, no finishes, so I can show you the chart, but it'll look the same as yesterday, so let's, leave that for another day. So I feel like I should do a video clip because I put some makeup on. <laughs> but I don't really have anything to say. I'm about to film a book haul, um, which I haven't done for a long time. It's, um, I looked and I have not, I have not, I did my bookends book haul, uh, which I did in August, but I guess I wasn't buying a lot of books. Um, so I had to really search, which was kind of funny. Um, I, I don't know, I guess I was... I don't know. Anyway, so I did buy books. I didn't buy notebooks, but I mostly bought Kindle books, and so they were on my spreadsheet, so there will be a book haul. It'll probably be up after this video on the weekend. Um, yeah, so yay for eyeliner. Yay. <laughs> I'm so ready to take my contacts out, though. Wow, I'm just ready. I'm ready. All right, so there is my makeup film clip. <laughs> I am super excited to see that my hold came in for Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. Oh my goodness. Elizabeth from Books and Pieces talked about this and anticipated upcoming SFF releases. And like, yes, yes, all the things, all the things. It says I placed the hold today. That's not true. I think it came out today. I placed the hold like a month ago, two months ago. But, but it's not a it's September TBR. So I'm very happy to not be wearing my contacts. I don't love filming in my glasses, but because like there's so much glare, but I just can't wear my contacts anymore. Anyway, so I did a bunch of filming and I included, including a review of The Giver that ended up being 18 minutes long. And for a book that is so concise and short, I feel like that is just really not good to have a video review that's that long. So I feel like I should have thought about it a bit more before doing a review, but I'm hoping to read all the whole series this month. So if I'm going to review the books, I'm going to not have tons of time. And I do struggle with that. And I do often opt for volume over clarity or sometimes quality or sometimes both. And I don't think it's the best choice. Um, but it is often the choice I make is for quantity. 
But in Atomic Habits, they talked about how it gets you to quality eventually. <laughs> sort of. Does it? You have to reflect. You have to reflect. Anyway, I don't know. So if I do like continue reading the series, which I will, um, and continue reviewing the series, and all of the reviews are horrible and long and just feel like all over the place, then I probably won't post them. But at least I have one done. But 18 minutes for a book review just feels excessive. Excessive. What are your thoughts? What do you think is the ideal length for a book review? Or does it have to be, like, I know everything's subjective, but yeah, it's a bit more of a discussion video anyway. Ah, that can, that, I could work with that angle. I could work with that angle. Anyway, vlogging done. Now on to reading. Got to read some How to Train Your Dragon. Do you want to finish it uh, today? So got to work on that. So Shannon, Shannon, hang out with the dragons. With the dragons and with Hiccup. So it is getting later in the day, as you can tell, because I'm getting more pixelated. <laughs> um, and I've read some more of How to Train Your Dragon. I'm doing pretty good. I have about 100 pages left. Um, but I needed to take a break, and I have stuff to do. I had stuff to do, and then I realized I have to get up pretty early tomorrow. And I still have stuff to do tonight, and I haven't had dinner, and it's already pretty late. And I'm like, oh. I did not plan this day well. I did not plan this day well. So I am going to read more of How to Train Your Dragon, um, I guess until I eat. I don't know. I have stuff to do. Ugh, ugh. Anyway, I am enjoying it, but it's it's one of those ones where yeah, I often, I didn't realize I do this, but with books I tend to read a bit, read a bit, read a bit, read a bit, and then push to the end. And I don't feel like I have the, the energy to read the end right now. I feel like if I read it, I'm going to be racing through it because I know that I have things I need to do and I don't like that. So I'm a little stumped, but I am going to read it. I'm going to read some and then see how I do. You will do some and then do the things that I have to do and then have dinner and then read it. Oh, and I'm not going to get much sleep. I can already feel it. I can already feel it. Oh, well, some days are like that. These are awesome. Okay, so it is now Wednesday and um, I didn't do an update in the morning because I had an early morning and um, so I just went about my morning stuff um, and uh, yeah, and now it's later in the day and I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. I had a lot to do. I filmed a couple of clips, um, not too much just because I was places. I kept on trying to, but there were always people and I very aware that I don't want to film other people that are just sort of like going about doing their day. So I don't know how much of it will have ended up in the video, um, but I did get to the dollar store. So maybe later I'll share what I picked up at the dollar store. It's nothing super exciting, but I'm always curious about like, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'll share that maybe tomorrow. And um, yeah, and I am just tired. I am tired, but I did some journaling out at a coffee shop, which is always nice. And I have an idea of a project so, you know, because the day ends and why, um, but it's a big project. So it's like lots of thinking and I'm not really, it's, not, and it's not a book project, although there will be some bookish elements, um, but not exclusively. So, and it's, yeah, so I'm curious. So my brain is really on that right now. Um, so, and, but my brain is also like, 
I'm done. I'm done for the day, Shannon. I am done for the day. So yeah, and for a reading update, I did finish the 11th book in the How to Train Your Dragon series, so I'm on target there. Yay. Uh, I enjoyed it. Like the last one, I felt like some of the scenes were a bit long, um, but it was very dramatic. So, you know, <laughs> that sometimes goes hand in hand. Um, and I'm really excited about going into the 12th and final volume. I'm, I'm tempted to go to it right away, but I am trying to alternate between uh, that series in The Giver. So I am going to read the second, start the second book in The Giver, which is Gathering Blue uh, by Lois Lowry. And um, that's the plan for today. I, in all honesty, I don't think I'll start it today because I just feel too tired. I'm going to have a shower, have some food, uh, watch something that doesn't require a lot of attention and, you know, conk out, you know, and, you know, that that's probably what's going on. And, um, if I get some rest, maybe I'll read later in the day, but no guarantees. This is easily going to be a low number or zero reading day, so that's not good. But yesterday I also finished Saga Volume 7, so yesterday was a really big day, so maybe it's just, that's just the wave I'm riding. Uh, but also when I have a day that's this busy and this exhausting, I don't anticipate reading much, if at all, so that's okay. You gotta make room for that. Um, and, um, and I didn't, because I'm supposed to start gathering blue, but I know that I should, so Shannon... You know that you should. So next time, next time. Part of vlogging helps. Actually, the vlogging does help with with noticing things like that. Um. So, but I knew this month was an ambitious month, um, and so that's why the 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 schedule is a bit more intensive. That doesn't mean I'm capable of it. Obviously. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Wednesday. I'm I'm done with you. And it's also like 30 degrees out, which is way, it's been like 20 and 18. So 30 Celsius, which is like, I don't know, it's like 88 Fahrenheit or something like that. So it's hot and I don't mind the heat, but it's just like, it's been so moderate and then bam, back to summer. It's still summer till the 23rd. So yeah. All right. But I'm done with today. I'm done with today. <laughs> so see you later. <laughs> that is um, dandelion wine and something we get this way called fire spring raspberry. So business stuff to pick up, but it's it's more about these two characters who kind of uh, are kind of helping each other in a way. And then they meet another Japanese woman who is kind of almost stranded in some human nature. This idea of a universal uh, regardless of Okay, it is now day 12 and the last day for this particular reading vlog. I don't, I, yesterday I was really tired and I don't remember what I said and what I didn't. So I thought I would share my reading tracker and that'll help remind me of the things that I finished because I, I actually ended up reading a fair amount. 
I don't know. Anyway, let's just look at it. It will help me remember things. Um, so I finished How to Train Your Dragon 11, which is the penultimate one in the series. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm heading into the final stretch for that series um, and really curious to see how it will go and all um, come together and up and off all the things. Um, I started gathering blue. Oops, I forgot to put the square. Uh, that's the second book in the Giver Quartet. So far, not loving it at all. Not loving it at all. We'll reserve judgment. I'm only 22 pages in, so um, yeah, but yeah, it's very different. The tone is completely different. So we shall see how things go. Um, I read a little bit more of Maybon. Um, I read the next section, which is 30 pages. I do want to finish that this week, but for me, that actually means before Sunday. Uh, I'll probably read a section today, a section tomorrow, and um, I should be good for that. I read the next Greek myth, which was one on Dionysus. Which was pretty good, but I didn't feel like it featured... It's, it was a part... Dionysus is like the god of... Um, wine and fun and frivolity and stuff um uh but it didn't so much focus on that but sort of like you know um more of the creation story and and development story as opposed to what we now know him as which is interesting and i wonder if the this greek heroes book will is going to be like that um it's a bit different than i expected so it's been uh challenging to like really take hold of. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, that was the one that I read. And the next one is um, Perseus. Perseus. Yeah, Perseus. Perseus. I keep on thinking it sounds differently than that. Yeah, Perseus. And um, the Gorgon. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I started another Blade of the Immortal. Um, I got a lot into it yesterday, the 12th and 20th volume, liking it much more. Some of the other ones have been a bit rocky, but that one's good. And I started a Goosebumps book. Piano lessons are murder. I've only read the first chapter, so <laughs> don't have huge thoughts about that. Um, and what else did I finish? Um, I finished Saga Volume 7, which I enjoyed, but not as much as the previous volumes. Um, it was still a four star, uh, but so far they've all, I think they've all been four stars. <laughs> um, but I think I liked it the least, but that isn't... Um, and I like the new characters in this one. Um, but yeah, it just didn't grab me as the other ones did, which I'm surprised at. Um, and then I also read Rat Queens Volume 1, uh, which I'm reading for the Book to Best of F Awards. Um, I'm working on the backlist, all of the titles of the works that have been nominated or shortlisted in the past, but I haven't read. So um, I read that all in one go yesterday. Um, I, it was the second time I got it out from the library and um, it was going to expire in a couple days. So I'm like, okay, let's just do this. And it wasn't really for me. It's a, it's a fantasy uh, graphic novel um, featuring a troop of four uh, women. And it just, it just wasn't for me. Like I just, um, it was, it had a strong, I felt it strongly relied on humor, and there was a lot of crassness and swearing and stuff like that. And this just, it's just not my thing. Plus, I'm not against it per se, but I just, it's just not the most interesting way to express oneself. I find that's a bit judgy. So sorry, <laughs> um, but yeah. So, but I read it. So one more read, and I think whatever year. Uh, that the shortlist for graphic novels for that year I am now complete because I think it was Saga 3, 4, and Rat Queens. That might have been 2015, so I finished off a whole section. And I really want to do a spread in my bullet journal or my tracker um, for all of the BookTube SFF awards so far. Um, and I've actually, it's funny, it's amazing. It has taken me until, this was yesterday I started thinking about this a bit more. This is a project that I've been lightly working on for a couple months, but um, yesterday I really started thinking about getting strategic about it and stuff. And like, what do I want to try and finish before next year's awards? And do I want, especially because like there's a bunch of series where like the next in the series could be nominated for next year. So I feel like if I get priority to those titles, then I might be in good shape for next year and stuff like that and set myself up for success. And I'm like, wow, it only took 11 days into the month before I got distracted by another another project, the wandering eye of another project, which actually is not too bad. Um, I'm not going to shift my focus. I'm going to stay true to the vision of this month for stacking the series. And I am actually in pretty good shape uh, with finishing two How to Train Your Dragon titles and one 
for the giver. I think I'm now at 50 out of 78 books. Um, and that makes that's three of the nine that I want to read this month. And I'm well into Maybon. I should finish that soon. And then I'll switch gears to Shakespeare, um, the very short introduction to Shakespeare. And so far, the giver and the How to Train Your Dragon ones are going well. I'm a little concerned about the giver, about the second title. But um, as I said, I only just started it and it's only 180 pages. I'm sure I can make it through. Um, but um, I like I, I didn't like in the giver. I just I just came into that book and came into that world and was just you couldn't tear me away from it well you could but like uh, it, it, so far this one is a lot darker and um like from the onset whereas i felt like the giver is like it's lighter from the onset so i will see how things go um i'm going to show you my chart and share how things are and then i'll also show you i mentioned that i went to the dollar store so i'll share my dollar store haul and uh and i think that'll wrap up this week so let's take a look at the chart so here we are. So here are my stacking the series books. As I mentioned, I've read three out of the nine, so that's pretty good. In terms of making decisions about stuff, I'm continuing to read the Dime Store Magic from the Women of the Other World, um, and I've decided not to check in or share my thoughts on it until and just let myself read it and see how that goes. Um, and so far, that's going well. That's not me checking in. That's just saying that the process is working. <laughs> um, uh, these, I have started the Greek Mist, and that's all that's gone on for here. And then in terms of my library books... I have read three Blade of the Immortals, two sagas, and started the next Blade of the Immortal and uh, Piano Lessons or Murder. So, so far I feel like that's not bad after two weeks um, out of five, because this month we'll ha I'll have five vlogs. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good. Another thing that I want to share, share is how my sweater is going. As you can see, I have at least part of a sleeve going on. It's not complete yet. Um, I'm a little concerned because I did like three inches or 30 or 40 rows of just straight knitting and then I started reducing and I put it on and it goes to about my elbow and I think it feels a little tight. Now it doesn't actually feel tight, but I don't know, I'll switch the camera so we can see the other side. So there is the whole thing, and it's very clear. There's a sleeve on one side and not on the other, so progress there. But I am a little concerned um, because I don't know how easy it is to tell. Like, it's very... You can tell where the shaping starts, right? You see it start to curve here, whereas it's parallel to each other until that point. And I think I might have not done the best job in terms of cho choosing... Um, I chose to go straight for quite a while and then decrease more rapidly every third row is every fourth row, but I am feeling this goes to about my elbow, which is, it doesn't look like it should, looks like it should only go halfway to the bicep, but so far it's at my elbow and I feel like it's a little tight, not tight, but I just feel like if I keep decreasing at the rate I am, it might not feel super comfortable. I'm not sure what to do. I don't want to rip it out, mostly because I'm not very good at picking up stitches. And although, and I, and it just, it, it does look very nice. Like I do feel like it's very flat in terms of like, I can see where I picked up the stitches and that's a bit tighter and that's a bit looser, but I think generally it looks really good. So I'm worried if I take it out, it'll look really messy. Um, so one of my ideals, is actually to, I have another needle that's the same size. So I might pick up the other sleeve, work it in the pattern that might make more sense in terms of reducing every fourth row and see how that goes. For the knitters out there, let me know your thoughts. Does that sound like it makes more sense to try the other sleeve in the other measurements? Test that out, see if it feels better before ripping the other side. One challenge is, if I do that, I will have to either adjust one of the arms or live with the fact that the arms are of different widths. I don't know. Advice is welcome <laughs> on approach for that. 
Okay, so that is how my reading went for the past couple of days and an overview of how the week went and how my sweater is going. I'm really stumped on that. I actually, until I talked about it, I didn't realize that if I start the other method on the other sleeve, then I will have, if I stick with both methods, I will have two different widths of sleeves. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell because I just, I tr when I tried it on, it was just over like a light long, a light, loose, long sleeve shirt. But I feel like if you're wearing a sweater, you have to be able to wear it over a long sleeve shirt, at least for myself. That's the minimum of what I'm going to be wearing under it is a long sleeve shirt. And this, the arms didn't feel tight, but they didn't feel loose. It just didn't feel as I expected. So I feel like I need to pull it back. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Should I try the other side or should I just rip it out and start again? You know, once I got the magic loop method going, um, it took me a while. I didn't remember how to do it correctly. But once I got it going, it was actually quite fast um, going in the round like that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, so now on to my dollar store haul. I went to Dollarama yesterday um, and... Uh, yeah, so this is just sort of the big chain dollar store that is here in Toronto. Um, we actually do have Dollar Tree, which I didn't know. <laughs> I found one the other day when I went to Walmart. And uh, yeah, so there are Dollar Trees here. But I've always gone to, not always, ever since Dollarama came around, um, that was the dollar store I tended to go to, um, with the exception of like actual dollar stores that are like one more like mom and pop type dollar stores, like not a chain dollar store. Anyway, I didn't mean to go into all of the different kinds of dollar stores. But I thought I'd share what I got. And I didn't actually get what I was looking for. I wanted to pick up a composition book because new TV will be starting soon. And I do like to have one for the season of the shows that I'm watching and to take notes on the new shows <laughs> that I'm watching. So yeah, so that's a bit geeky, but you know, that's one of the things that I've been doing for many, many years. So I wanted to get a new one, um, but they didn't have any. I was very surprised and sad about that, but I probably do have a blank one kicking around. So anyway, what I came home with is different stuff. I came home with a 2020 calendar. This is the first time I had seen them available this year. I love these monthly calendars. They're great for planning. Um, and um, they, I feel like, especially with these squares, they're a really good size. I have post-it notes that are exactly that size. So it really works out. And they have the, you know, all the holidays. And what else do they have? Map of Canada. And the time zones and one of the things i actually really love that they have is they have a year at a glance for the current and upcoming year and i often use these after i'm done with it for the year i'll cut these out and put them like one in my bullet journal and i'll have one actually on the wall over there um and um, i love being able to see a year at a glance and so yeah so i'm looking forward to doing some planning for next year not quite just yet not quite just yet also picked up some index cards i use index cards all the time especially if i'm doing uh reviews of any kind for videos i'll write the pertinent details on an index card and just generally like i always always have to have index cards um and also picked up some scrubbies <laughs> for the kitchen so i can do some dishes picked up some makeup sponges these were not the ones i wanted i wanted the circular ones i don't think these ones work super well but i just needed something for foundation i picked up some glue sticks i got one of the really uh the larger size for the Elmer's and then three of the Studio, which is sort of like the dollar store brand, which I don't mind. I feel like with these ones, you have to use do the front and the back of something for it to stick well. This one, I think you only have to use one side, but these are pretty big. So it's I like to have both. And I picked up some scissors. And to, because part of the reason I picked up all that and I picked up a pencil case is just because I wanted to put some stuff for collaging together. So I'm going to use this and this, the scissors and the glue sticks and put those all together. And then I just picked up some pens, just some pens. And these ones, I am, um, I was going to use my teeth to open that, but I'm like, that's a little... <laughs> Let's be a little more polite than that. Um, but I don't know if these are the ones that I want. I wanted. This was, I like black, using black pens always. And, um, but I couldn't see from the inside. Oh yeah, this is the kind I've been using recently, these paper mates. They're not my favorite. I like the round Vix. That's, they used to have the tagline on it that says, writes the first time every time. 
But then at some point they didn't say that and they didn't work quite as well. So these are pretty good. I think paper made, I find is some, sometimes the, like I find the, the ink gets everywhere, but not those ones. These ones have been better. They're a nice dark black and um, have been quite consistent. So I have been using them for the past little while. So yeah, so now I have a bunch of pens. So there we end this reading vlog with stationary supplies, um, which always make me happy. I love my stationary supplies. Um, and I think that the reading went pretty well this week. A couple of finishes, a couple continues. I really stayed the course. I haven't... Um, uh, diverged very much from my um, planned reading. I did read Rat Queens, but I read that all in one go. Um, and I think that's sort of the 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 other side of um, having a very focused month is not only reading what you set out to read, but also not reading other things. And that's the same for anything, whether it's finance or, you know, um, you know, like your budget or your time. You know, if you focus on the things that you said you were going to do, it means you also have to not do the things that you said you were like, don't do other things. You have to stay the course. So, so far two weeks in or 12 days in, things are going okay. Have, you know, started to get the magpie eyes on other things, but stay in the course so far. Fingers crossed it will go well. Next week I will have to focus more strongly on my library books because it will be the last week that I have them. Um, so that's why I fit in I, um, some other stuff this week. That wasn't super intentional, but it is how it happened. So yeah, fingers crossed. I think things are going well. Thank you for watching this one, one more week of vlogging and uh, we shall see what the third week has in store once it happens. Okay, thanks so much for watching.